Good morning, morning guys. So we have driven about 45 minutes from where we live today and back into the Peak District and we've parked the car at a place called Earl Sterndale and we've come to climb the two little peaks that you can't really see behind us because it's so <laughs> foggy again but the first one is Park House Hill and the second one is Chrome Hill and yeah we're just going to do another little circular walk I think it's about seven or eight kilometers this time hopefully the fog will lift and we'll come back over the top so hopefully by then the, <laughs> the fog won't be there and we can get some nice views So Chrome Hill is just here and in the summer months, during the summer solstice, there's actually a really cool phenomenon here which is that there's a double sunset and what happens is that the sun will set just on this edge here, go behind the hill and then it'll pop out this edge here so it'll come out again and then set again over here. So you get this cool double sunset effect which you don't see in very many parts of the world. Unfortunately today you can't even see the sun though so let alone the actual hill. So both Chrome Hill and Park House Hill are actually quite interesting because they are limestone reef knolls and if you didn't know during the Carboniferous period the whole of Britain and of course the Peak District was covered in uh, a tropical sea so on the bottom of that these uh, dead sea creatures they kind of accumulated over the millions of years and once the sea disappeared they basically left behind these two beautiful hills so that's what we see today and from the air they look like a, a dragon's back so it's quite interesting how they just um, eroded over the years So, would you say that these, these little white things on the ground are flowers? Because they look a lot like flowers and we thought they were flowers until we got a lot closer to them. Actually, little water droplets, they're clinging to the flowers. It's crazy. Okay, so we're about two hours into the walk now. It's about midday and we're just coming to sort of the top of Chrome Hill. We've come around the side of it and we're planning on going back up over the top. And to be honest, we're a little bit disappointed because we really thought the fog might have lifted by now, but oh, as you- It doesn't look like it will ever. <laughs> At least not today. No, as you can see, it's still pretty thick and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. So. Tough when you have little feet. So we're up on the ridge of Chrome Hill now and whilst it's still incredibly foggy and not the, the nicest conditions, it does make for some cool, cool shots. Like the way the fog's just wrapping around the hill and we're getting some cool, some cool photos. Yeah. So, also, fun fact, uh, for years you couldn't even climb over these hills uh, until they actually opened it up to uh, the public. So 
So, the views from the top of Chrome Hill Beautiful. are just Stunning. insane, guys. You can see for miles. Check this out. <laughs> and in the other direction. All right, so just coming to the end of the walk now. And yeah, I mean, it's not been the, the greatest walk we've ever done. I'm still happy we evolved across Chrome Hill. I think that was good. Yeah, I mean, it was really cool from the top with all of the, the shadows on the rocks and the, the fog sort of uh, clinging to everything. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a real shame that the fog didn't lift at all. But hopefully from next week, uh, the lockdown in England will be over and we might be able to get out and uh, go to some of the sort of National Trust sites again or maybe one of the old halls. That'll be make a nice change because we've done quite a lot of walks in the last few weeks. Uh, Fancy a change. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.